What is up YouTube? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team video. And today guys, what I'm going to be talking about is the new legends that are being added into the game today. And those are of course, Bo Jackson and Darrell Revis. Now, if you follow the EA Twitter account, EA Sports Mutt, you probably are already aware of this, but I wanted to give you guys some thoughts and opinions on why I kind of disagree with both of these items being in Madden 15 Ultimate Team at this point in the game. Now, what I'm going to go off of here is kind of the history of where we're at currently with the game and kind of where I think that the game is going to be going here in the future. So... First person that I want to talk about is right over here. We've got Darrell Revis. Now, Darrell Revis is probably, uh, at this point in the game, this 97 overall cornerback item of Darrell Revis is one of the absolute best cornerbacks in the game, for sure. There's a few others that I think you could make the case are better. Obviously, there's the 99 Sherman, and, and there's some other ones like the Deion Sanders and that kind of thing. But for the most part, this is going to be one of the best items in the game at this point in time. Now, I don't have as much of a problem with that, being that this is a 97 overall item, as I do with the idea that Darrell Revis is considered a legend. I don't quite get it. I, I have to say that I don't quite get it. Now, we might be talking about the fact that he's a playoff legend, I guess you could say, in, in a similar way to the way that Terrell Suggs had a legend item, and that was considered a, I think it was just like a Thanksgiving Day legend or something like that. So I kind of understood why they did it with, with Terrell Suggs with that one specialty item. But Darrell Revis, right? Like, when you think of Darrell Revis, you don't necessarily think of his amazing playoff performances. You think of him shutting down guys and and everything like that. And, and on the back of his, on the back of this specific item, it does talk about when he shut down Reggie Wayne, and uh, I think he had an interception or something like that. But the point that I'm trying to make here is that I don't understand why Darrell Revis, this item, is considered a legend. Like. I don't get that, okay? I, I understand that this is, that Darrell Revis at some point very likely will be a Hall of Famer. He's an amazing player. But to me, Legend is kind of, it should be kind of qualified as a player who doesn't play anymore, you know, and, and a player like Bo Jackson who had kind of a mystique about him, right? Somebody who uh, we couldn't otherwise get an item of. And Darrell Revis already has a bunch of items. He already has a, that 24-hour item. He's got a few elite cards already. I mean, why are we adding more Darrell Revises at this point? I, I personally, I don't understand it. Now, I, I like the fact that it's a Jets item. That's kind of cool, I guess. But at the same time, though, it's just, it, to me, it just kind of seems a little bit unnecessary at this point. And I want to hear what you guys have to say about that one because... I think pe less people have a, a negative opinion about the Jarrell Revis than have a negative opinion about the Bo Jackson. So I want to talk a little bit now about the Bo Jackson. If you're unaware, uh, EA did, like I said, tweet out the information about this. But the Bo Jackson that's going to be coming out here that's 99 overall and it's going to be released today. This thing is the same exact attributes as the previous Bo Jackson item that was released that is 99 overall. And that one came out of the Christmas presents, or I guess what are they called, the Ultimate Freeze uh, collections, I guess I sh should call them. Um, and that was widely considered the best item in Madden 15 Ultimate Team. Extremely rare, not many people had it, we didn't see it coming, none of us saw it coming, well I shouldn't say nobody saw it coming, because a few people I think kind of had an idea, I'm not going to say that they had an outright, you know, guarantee that the next item was going to be Bo Jackson or anything like that, but I think some people maybe had the idea that at least one of the Raiders' presence was going to be Bo Jackson, and that's why they probably invested a little bit in Bo Jackson, but for the majority of us, we had no idea that this item was coming out at this point in the game. We expected it to come out something like this, where it was, you know, eventually somewhere along the way, there was going to be a Bo Jackson item that was released, and that's kind of where we're at right now, right? I, don't, I would not have a problem with this item being released if it had different attributes than the previous one, and preferably lower attributes, because that Bo Jackson, the, the one that came out recently, and this was only a few weeks ago already, and we're already releasing a new Bo Jackson with the same attributes. Like, I don't understand why. Like, 
why not make this one slightly lower overall, like make it a 97 overall, like the Revis, and it's still going to be an amazing running back. It would still have great speed, still great trucking, still great agility, everything like that that the Bo Jackson that we saw in the previous item had, um, maybe not with things like the throw power and, and stuff like that, the gimmicky stuff that they made that card really crazy, but maybe you just tone it down and you make it or like a, a really good running back item, maybe similar, maybe even not quite as good as the Barry Sanders legend item. But you look at this Bo Jackson and you really have to question what EA is doing at this point because so many people paid a ton of coins to get the previous Bo Jackson item and now they're sitting there looking at this one and they're like, are you kidding me? Because this one is not likely to be as rare as the previous one. Or even if it is as rare, you're still doubling the number of Bo Jacksons that are available. So what's going to happen to the other Bo Jackson is that the price on that one is going to tank. If you own that Bo Jackson right now, and uh, for whatever reason you, you haven't sold it, I would definitely go out there and sell that thing right now and try and get as much as you can for it. Because it's going to go down in price from here. It's just going to. There, there's... It's practically impossible for it to not go down in price at this point in time because there's going to be basically at least twice as many of the Bo Jackson items entered into the game. So the rarity is going to drop. The price is going to drop on them as well. So, like I said, what the way that they could have combated this is to make this item a little bit lower overall and still make it a really great item. I'm not trying to say that Bo Jackson should be, uh, you know, like a... A 90 overall or something like that. I want this item to be a high overall item. I want it to be a great running back. And I still want people to be able to utilize it. But I don't want to kill the market on the rarest card in the game right now. Like, it blows my mind that they would do this. Like, it, it's just crazy. I don't understand where EA is coming with this. Um, it, it just, to me, it seems like they're looking at it like, okay, a whole bunch of people just got Christmas money, and they're, now they're ready to blow it on the game. So let's introduce a, a really cool Jarrell Revis item because everybody loves Jarrell Revis, and let's introduce a Bo Jackson item that's just going to blow the socks off of all the other running backs other than the other Bo Jackson. So to me... I just, I feel very frustrated that we're sitting here talking about Bo Jackson uh, being reintroduced into the game right now. And as somebody who didn't own the previous Bo Jackson, I I don't personally benefit from, you know, keeping the other one high priced. But what I do benefit from is that there aren't going to be a ton of amazing Bo Jackson items against me in all of my head-to-head -head seasons games. So I get, I get a little bit irritated, like I said, that they're already introducing this other item that's probably going to make the previous Bo Jackson somewhat irrelevant. So frustrated, but I, I want to hear what you guys have to say about this because... I, I just, I don't know, am I alone on this? I saw Tolk tweeted about it, and, and he kind of had the same sentiments that I do about it, that it's just going to kill the market on the previous one. And I'm I'm not trying to say, guys, that other people shouldn't be able to have Bo Jackson's. Like, I, I get it. We want to be able to play with these awesome items and just an item that says Bo Jackson and has the, the crazy neck padding and, and, you know, it has his picture and things like that. I get it. But... At the same time, though, I don't want to kill the market. I don't want to set this precedent that all the rest of the cards that come out, because at, at this point, they put out another running back, it's going to be lower overall the, than Bo Jackson. That or else it's going to have to have something like 102 trucking or 102 speed, and then we're already getting to that point and we're not even halfway through the Madden season. So I don't want to get to that point. I, I talked about this Earlier in the year, I, I would really love to see them not have these items go over 100 overall in, or, you know, at a certain attribute uh, until at least we get to the golden tickets. So I want to hear what you guys have to say about that. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. If you agree with me, if you disagree with me, let me know why. Because um, I, I really am interested in it and, and maybe I'm just looking at this from the wrong way. So let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Good luck with pulling these things because they're both going to be available in packs today. So uh, definitely tweet me or send me a picture. Comment below if you guys pull either Revis or Bo Jackson. I'd love to hear about it. Again, good luck to all of you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. And again, I'll talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.